Salutations, this is a Crazy Spider. Let's talk about editing, and in particular the emotions that are conveyed when watching a video. There's been a lot of discussion about the new Call of Duty and Battlefield trailers, but this video is not intended to talk about or criticize either game's merits. To me, both games look great in their own ways. Instead, let's talk about their announcement trailers in terms of what their editing makes the viewer feel. I'll be playing clips of each trailer in, the, in this video but I would encourage you to watch the trailers themselves. I'll be leaving links in the description to each trailer. First thing to note is the Call of Duty trailer is significantly longer than the Battlefield trailer, with the Battlefield trailer only lasting approximately 60 seconds, and the Call of Duty trailer being just shy of three minutes. It's almost three times as long, and I'm not including the Modern Warfare Remastered segment. Given this, let's talk about the Battlefield trailer first. Right from the get-go, this trailer starts off with a hit. It opens with a guy getting bludgeoned to death with dramatic lighting that's quickly transitioning into a desert backdrop. These first few seconds sets the tone for the whole trailer. The trailer goes quickly back and forth between loud, quick, and hard-hitting action, then a few seconds for a lull that sets up the next bit of action. This happens about seven to eight times in the trailer and is done well. It keeps the pace of the trailer up-tempo and very high energy. As a consequence, it never lets the viewer get accustomed to exactly what they're seeing until the final clip drawing your attention to one item to end the excitement. This trailer was designed to build hype, tease the audience, and nothing else. There's no narrative and there's no reasoning for each action scene. It gives you uh, a visual, then immediately takes it away. It's exciting, thrilling, and leaves you wanting more. In short, it's fast, loud, and exciting, but has no overarching context. It's simply a sequence of action scenes intended to make the viewer want more. On the other side of things is the Call of Duty trailer. It's edited to have a much different effect on the viewer. While Battlefield's trailer intentionally left out context, the Call of Duty trailer goes out of its way to give you context. It opens slowly in comparison, providing a security camera style footage that shows the beginning of an invasion, with narration and newscasters explaining the situation. This is all set up designed to infer a story and let your mind fill in the details as the trailer progresses. One major difference you will see in the Call of Duty trailer is that the shots in the Call of Duty trailer are far longer than the Battlefield trailer, each shot persisting long enough for the audience to gain insight into the meaning of each angle. The storming of the hill portion of the trailer slowly progresses, each shot moving forward towards the hill with explosions all around. This tells a small story of a group of soldiers storming a hill. This weaves a narrative for the trailer, telling pieces of a larger story. This then eventually transitions into a set of random clips depicting action from random events that have no context. However, due to the previous two minutes of setup, the viewer assigns some context to these clips as they attempt to make sense of what they were presented with before. In short, the Call of Duty trailer was narratively driven, with brief moments of excitement to break up the otherwise narrative focus. To the rest of the trailer, it tried to invoke the natural curiosity, giving a partial story and letting the audience predict what may occur. Both trailers have their strong points and their weak points. Battlefield showed too little and Call of Duty showed too much. It goes to show how two marginally similar games based around the action hero could have such drastically different trailers. What do you think of the editing? Was it good, bad, or just misguided? Thanks for watching. This has been a Crazy Spider. Have a great day.